Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on how to custom on how to customize the view storefront Figma files. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to customize the button component in Figma. Uh, the main things we're going to be looking at is how to customize how to change the font, uh, the size of the button, and the border radius, um, the border size and color and the button shadow. So if you want to look at in-depth details about uh, all of the functionalities of the button, you can go to this document right here. I'll also link it down below. And for all further components we cover, I'm going to be referencing this document. The way this component is organized is all of the elements that make up the master components are listed up right here. And by customizing these, you can customize all of your components down below, which you'll use in your design. So any changes made up here will reflect down here. You have your normal auto sizing button, your full width button, your pure button, and your text button. You can ignore this for most of your designs because it's not used as a traditional button most of the time. Most of the time you'll use the pure button in your designs when you're writing the code for icon buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so the first thing is to um, customize the font of the of buttons. For these common buttons, uh, there's a type right here. You can see there's a font style listed right here for button font. Uh, to, if you also just don't want to search for it there, you can just click on it right here and edit this font style right here. And all the edits you make will show up. So that's how to customize the font for this and this button. For text buttons, what you can do is just go in right here and edit this directly. And that will reflect on all of the components right here. Uh, to change the size and, of the button, you can, for the auto button, you can come down here, select it, and change the right padding and vertical, the horizontal padding and the vertical padding right here to change the size of your button. And for the full width button, you can come into the element and resize this manually to however big you want it to be. To change the border radius, just select both of these and change the border radius to whatever you want. So say you want it to be 30, you can just hit 30 right here. And now you have rounded buttons everywhere. Just undo that. For the outline button, you can maintain different styles for each different state of the button. And so say you want to change the outline color of the button when it's resting. And say, so you can just come in right here and change it right here. And, and so all the changes you want to make just happen right here. You can change the thickness of it. You can change the text color. You can change everything you want. You can ma manage different hover state. You can add a shadow to your hover button all that and to make these buttons easier to use in action i've created three versions of the common button right here because so that you can quickly instead of going into the component every time and changing the color yourself you can just call out the primary brand, brand color button the secondary brand color button and the light color button uh right from the assets panel uh for all the other buttons since they're not the most frequently used ones, you can just go in and change the color at the time of using it in your design. Uh, I'd recommend if you want to change the color of the button beyond these three, use the primary button and then change the color, the background button color of it when you use it. Um, one last thing is to edit the shadow of uh, any of these buttons, just click on any of the hover ones. And you can see down here, there's a shadow right here. And so you can just come in and edit the shadow to be however you want. And yeah, that covers how to customize the button component for this video.